Before I go ahead and create the libraries that are going to be within Plex, I'm going to show you how to organize the files so that they'll work with Plex. So the files don't all actually have to be in the same place as I'm going to show here. I'm going to separate the movies into two folders just to kind of show that they can work across different places. But um, yeah, I'm going to show you how everything from movies, TV shows to music, as well as personal videos and personal photos should be formatted to work with Plex. So I'm going to actually start off with them first. I'm going to just do one for personal um, pictures and another for person personal, if I can sp spell it right, videos. <clears throat> and I'm just going to put personal videos in there, or the one personal video I've got, and I'm going to put the picture in, oops, in there, yeah. So they're both in there, so you can just throw them in and just leave them as it is, and um, it'll work perfectly fine. But let's go into the, let's go over the movies. So um, I'm going to make a movies folder here, oops, without the Z at the end, and I'm going to make a movies folder here. And for the sake, again, of showing that libraries can work across different folders, I'm going to um, put half of the movies in here and the other half in here. So let's just take these two and throw them in movies here. And then we'll just take the three movies that we've got left and put them here. <clears throat> so if we open up both these folders, um, that's um, as you can see, I formatted them already because these are just pulled down from Plex. So, um, yeah, as you can see, um, how I do it is there's basically the full title with spaces in it, and then it's the year with after another space. So you can't actually get away with doing it like this because um, I actually had named it like this before without me even realizing. And um, you might even be able to get away with having it in a, formatted in, in a few other ways too, but it's a good idea to just um, have it in this way because you know for sure that's going to work with Plex because that's how Plex wants you to name it. But as I said, Plex is pretty flexible and it might work if you make a few errors here and there. But it is really important that you have the year there or else it may um, try and pull down metadata from another f film, which is fine because you can change, um, you can fix the match as it's called in Plex. But it's a good idea to just get it right from the beginning so you don't have to go through all of that. So you can actually add posters as well as backgrounds and things like that to um, the movies folder. And you basically do that by creating a folder um, with the same name as the movie and then putting the stuff in there. But as I said, um, links to how to do that's going to be down in the description. I'm not going to go over that now because I don't want to make this video too complicated. But yeah, let's go back and we're going to add TV shows. So um, I'm going to actually get rid of this folder here because um, we're just going to have them all in the same folder. So you can create one called TV shows. And with TV shows, what you want to do is you want to um, separate them by show name. So I'm going to call one the middle because one of them's for the middle. And I'm going to call another one um, The Simpsons because the other f um, video files I've got are for The Simpsons. So we're going to do that. We're going to go into it and we're going to put the season in. So for the middle, it's season eight. <clears throat> and for Simpsons, oops, I put the Simpsons, not the Simpsons. Just notice. It's season um, 28. So season 28. And we're going to start off with Simpsons. So I'm going to just drag these two in here. And yeah, the way you um, organize TV shows is pretty simple. You just do the name of the show, again, with the space between the two words, and then you do a hyphen, and then you um, do S, which stands for season, then the number of the season, and then you do E, which stands for episode, and then the number of the episodes. So you just remember season, um, whatever season it is, and then whatever episode it is, and you just have the name of the, f the, of the um, show at the beginning. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. Um, after you do it a few times, you'll start to remember it. And yeah, it's going to be the same for the middle two. We'll just put them in here. And again, it's the name of the show, then the season, then the episode. And yeah, it's as simple as that. That's how you do TV shows. So we're going to go and do music now. So I'm just going to create a folder called music. So for music, what you want to do is you want to have a music folder. And then underneath that, you want to do 
the name of the artist. So I'm gonna do um, Peter Holland for his one, and um, I don't know why I close that because after that you have to do the name of the album. So in this case, it's just can't stop the f oops, feeling um, single. I mean, this may be wrong, but um, this is just an example anyway. And then I'm gonna go into it, and then you just drag the song in. So this song is pretty much already named as it should be, except I'll just take away the one. But um, yeah, um, what you basically do is you have the number of the song um, within the album, and then you have the name of the song. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, that's how you do music. So I'm gonna do another one. So for example, I'm gonna do Ed Sheeran's song. So Ed Sheeran, and that's from um, Multiply. So just do X. <clears throat> and then again, you go into it and then you just drag and drop the song into it. So I don't know if this is 19, um, but I'm just gonna put 19 anyway. Um, I mean, there isn't 19 songs in it, so it can't be. But yeah, basically, um, so this would be the 19th track, even though it isn't, and it's called New York. So, yeah, that's as easy as it is, pretty much. That's how you organise music. So, that's pretty much everything. Yes, there was another song there, but I'm not going to bother organising it because I think you get the message. But, um, yeah, if you have any questions, be sure to leave them down in the comments down below. It may seem a bit kind of complicated now, but once you make a few um, folders and you put some content in them, it's pretty easy to get your head around. You'll get the hang of it after you do a few files and you put them in. So again, if you have any questions though, be sure to leave them down below. Be sure to check the description for um, a kind of layout that I'm gonna put in there um, so that will save you having to go through the video again, where I'm just gonna kind of give um, how you should format movies, TV shows, and music. And there's also gonna be some links down there, as I said before, to some um, articles as to how you can format some other things, such as subtitles and posters and things like that. So those are all down in the description. But for now, I'll see you all in the next Plex tutorial. Bye.